here if you take a look at here when i am when i am giving double star here it is actually showing suggestions here here we are able to see we are able to see only the name and email address in the suggestions in the suggestions we are able to see the names and email addresses so apart from the name and email address i i also want to see phone number i also want to see department i also want to see a location as well so phone number location department also i want to see extra so by default we are able to see these two things only i want to see some extra extra field values caller name and caller email address i am able to see here right i want to see caller name email mobile number location department as well i want to see in the suggestions so i want to i want to only enter json format data here so this is actually json format data name uday this is actually json format data so i want to show this data in the json format i want to change this string field value behavior that means if you want to change the field default behavior if you want to change the field default behavior then you have to go to dictionary attributes so i am going to i, I let me just first actually explain about this description what is this okay so i am going to dictionary field this dictionary field i want to show it as json data this is a string type field right dictionary is a string type field right okay description description is actually a string type field okay so i want to change the default behavior of this particular string type string type of field so then what i will do i am just clicking on advanced view when you click on advanced view you will be able to see attributes here you can just click on alters the behavior of the field functionality that depends on the field so it will it will change the default behavior of that particular field so i am just clicking on more info here you will be able to see the dictionary attributes service now dictionary attributes service now provided dictionary attributes so there are lot of attributes available it is very difficult to remember all these things when customer customer gives the requirement right okay if you have to change that field default behavior you have, you have to go to dictionary attributes and you have to go through it each one okay so i am going to use json so i am going to take this json view here here i am going here i am keeping comma separated json view here okay this string field value behavior i am actually changing here here you guys can see so it is actually showing in the json format or not so it is trying to open in the json format nothing is actually coming here so here you are able to see extra thing to show this content in json format the content is not coming here yeah 
So this content is actually being shown in JSON format or not here. So name is John, age is 30, car null. This content is actually showing in the JSON format or not here. So that means we are actually changing the field default behavior. So here, this is actually a description is actually a string type field. And that, that string data, we are actually entering the data in the string format, but we are able to show it in the JSON format or not. So you guys can ask me what is JSON format. So JSON is actually something that guys, when two, two applications are communicating each other, let us say when service now is actually communicating with Salesforce. So JSON is actually the long base. JSON is actually the long base guys, mediator, not mediator. So let us say it is actually the communication language. You have to pass the data to Salesforce in the JSON format. You will be sending the data to Salesforce, right? When you are sending the data, you have to format in J you have to format the data into JSON format and you have to send it. That is actually about the JSON data. So this is actually the JSON format, guys. So here JSON format will be flower brackets inside the flower brackets. These are actually called keys. Name is car is actually the keys. These are values key value pair. Okay, if you want to change the default default behavior of the field, you have to use attributes. So as I told you in the reference field, in the suggestions, in the suggestions, here I am able to see the name and email, right? So I told you, right, apart from the name and email, I have to show, I have to show the department, mobile number and location as well. So for that, we have to change the default behavior. Okay, so I have to go to the color field. So I'm just taking this attribute here. So don't think too much about attributes. Attributes are not that important. Just remember that we have to use attributes to alter the default behavior of the field. That is what you guys have to remember. You don't have to spend much time on this attributes uh, field. Okay. So then what we will do, uh, I'm, I just copied that. Here I just kept this one. So apart from apart from uh, the the name email right what else i want to show so i want to show mobile number mobile mobile phone is actually the field name so mobile underscore phone comma location comma department So what else I'm showing here? See, here I am able to show the name, email address, and here I am able to show the location and the department. So mobile, mobile phone name we have given wrong. 
mobile phone name we have given wrong that is why it is not showing the mobile number so so how did i give that names location department so here right this user in this user table there will be fields this particular field names we have to give actually so this location field name is actually department field name is actually department location field name is actually location so for this one it is actually mobile phone so i think there are no mobile numbers i believe mobile underscore phone see mobile number is, is, is also appearing here so apart from the name email address i am able to show the number email uh, number location and department as well i am able to show so that means we are actually changing the default behavior let me just show you one more example as well i am going to create list type of field here okay list type of field so you can take any any field name guys I have just created a watch list field. I added that watch list field under notes section. So in this watch list field, we are able to see this lock icon where you can select the users. And here you have actually add me. So when you click on this one, your name will be appearing here. So customer says, I don't want to show add me icon there. Customer says, I don't want to, I don't want this add me icon here. So if you want to change the default behavior, by default, it is actually showing this add me icon, right? See, this, this is called add me icon. If you want to remove this add me icon, what you have to do, you have to go to the watch list. Just click on advanced view. Okay. Comma separated. No underscore add underscore me. So how, how did you write no underscore add me? No underscore add underscore me is actually attribute that is actually listed in the documentation. If I scroll a little down here, are you able to see the add me icon here? Add me icon is not there because we have, we have changed the default behavior. 